whose intro is that? Hi guys, James here. The plan today is to play golf. I haven't played for a few weeks now, the weather's been awful in this country. Bit of snow, a lot of rain, a lot of wind and all that stuff. But today it's like 10 degrees, it's sunny, it should be dry. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a game and film it, going to film every shot. I'm going to play nine holes and I'm actually quite looking forward to it. And now while we're waiting for an answer, just going to wait for confirmation from a golf club. Um, we have, what I'm going to do today is change up my driver. I don't think I've ever done a what's in the bag. So if you didn't know, for the last year I've been playing Callow X Forged Irons. Had the Mac Daddy four wedges. This putter. Is um, the Mickelson one, and then I've had an Epic and a long drive driver. So today, what I'm going to do is mix up the long drive head into this shaft. So I'm going to be playing like a six degree driver when I loft it up a bit on the course. Let's we'll see how that performs. It's pretty irrelevant because this whole set is being replaced in the next few weeks with another set. So you have to wait and see what I've got in the bag. Then I could do a really boring what's in the bag video. Not sponsored. This video is sponsored by Active Max Energy Relief. Tropical flavour. A longer drive with every drop. Focus. For f Take drops in the kitchen. Not on the golf course. So that's Tim of Golf Club and I have to write to the club to get permission to be able to film. So that's a no. Yes, right we've got somewhere better, we've got East Devon Golf Club which is great and it's probably going to be quite dry. Let's go! Bloody lovely. I haven't played for like three weeks and obviously did the classic, even a banana in the bag, and it's now rotted all over everything. Neutral plus one. So six degrees, which should be perfect. Right, let's go. Right, so literally just pulled up at East Devon. I walked across the third, got a bit of a gap, so I'm thinking of playing. Third to the ninth, maybe 10, 11, but ultimately just playing again. That's the stiffest swing I've ever made. I think for the last month, all I've really been doing is, is hitting the gym, training for long drive, putting on as much muscle as possible. So the swing actually feels a bit different. I'm probably like three, four kilos heavier. Um, all the excuses down. And let's, um, let's see, that was literally strap the car, walk onto the course, hit a ball. Right, we've got about 400 yards up the hill. Winter tees, it's pretty wet, but all in all, this course is holding, ha ha ha, this course has held up really well. Oh, it's strike. Nearly broke my hand. I don't think that's playing 400 yards. Whew. I'm gonna get a yardage, I think I've got about 120 uphill. 111, the tree trouble. Oh, it's good. That's good. Might be a bit long. Look good in here, but it's not on the green. I think it's long. So usually, I mean, when I'm out here playing, long game never really leaves me too much and I can always get it round, hit it all right. Short game on the other hand, well, putting's fine, but anything within, like pitch to chip, is a bit dodgy. Um, and I'm looking out for someone to have a short game lesson with, to try and sort that out, because if 
I had a decent short game as in chipping, pitching, bunker play. I could probably get it round. Oh, we've got a long, we haven't got a long par five. We play, basically playing off the reds. So we've got like a 500 and 467 yard par five. And it is not driver, but I'm going to hit it anyway. So we've got the XR speed, six degree. Wow. All right, the first one there has gone in the direction of Budley. Which is a nice view. The second one is just in play, hopefully. The first one's gone, so I've got like 240 downhill. I've got four iron. This is reminding me how much I need to start hitting balls again, practicing. Left myself, I think I've got like 40 yards. Just that lovely distance that I'm, sh I'm shit from basically. Here we go. My favorite yardage. Oh, he's nipped it. No. Oh my god. Look at this. Basically in the hole. Right, we've got a 374 yard hole dog leg up around the corner. Um, what I need to add as well. Uh, as you see me playing in these, in these shoes. Before you say what the fuck are you wearing? I think Callaway know as well as, as as well as anyone that shoes were not really there, have never been their forte. But so this is kind of like what I've got to work with this last year. But next year, in fact the ones they've just dropped are actually really nice. So they've got some like training ones that are decent, they've got some other ones that will be coming in in the next few weeks. So I'll show you them. Mm. I'm not wearing these. That's just a little four iron. Oh, it's on the middle. They are pretty hard wearing though. Apparently before they introduced them to the golf market, they were originally, um, the main market share was the American military. You can see with their sturdy appearance. Admittedly, it is hard to, to bring out a nice pair of black golf shoes. I think this year that they've done it, so you'll see soon. All right, so we've got 150 up the hill to a pretty small target. And I need to get a camera that actually focuses. It's starting to really piss me off. But yeah, small target. 150 yards. Go keep it under the branches. Oh. The bunker. So the main reason of um, trying to, you know, get my games together and obviously get the short game together, be able to score is because I'm, I'm doing a new YouTube series, which is um, the Chaff Chap. So it's uh, based around my journey to the open, which I'm never going to qualify for, but it's called the Chap Chap Does the Open Qualifying. It's got a good ring to it. A right, little pitch out of the bunker. What is going on? Let's hold it. It's got to swing a bit, a tiny bit off the right. Right edge. Whoa! Oh, oh my god. 
how much would a chap chap chaff if a chaff chap chapped? No. How much would a how much would a chaff chap chap? How much would a chap chaff chaffed if a chaff chap chapped? Chap chaff series, episode one. How much would a chap chap chaff chap chaffed if a chaff chap chap? It's got clickbait written all over it. We've got 200 yards back of the green. We'll pump a five back. The great thing about playing East Devon is you get up to this green and you got that. Look at that view. You can turn it around the other side. And you got that. Right, so now on the night for tea. Which is a downhill par 4, 460. If you do a little 360 up here, it's not a bad spot. Right then. Give it a rip. It's fine. Right, so we've got this hole and then a par 3 coming back and a par 4 and I'm pretty much near the clubhouse and Got to get them, got PT in tonight, but it's just been good to get out on the course. East Devon is is great. I mean, we've had um, a bit of snow and a lot of rain, so most courses are struggling to get on full green, struggling to even open after this weekend. But East, East Devon's Heathland can't you can't beat this in the winter. If you're like around the Exeter area, this is probably your best bet at this time of year. Oh shit, look who we have over here. Harry, right. Harry Flower. Okay. Oh god. I came here to get uh, away from you, mate, to be honest. <laughs> came to the wrong place considering I'm a member here, didn't you, you daft? Oh, I can't. Oh no, I'm focusing on you. Oh, Jesus. I thought. I'll piss on you. I've just gone birdie birdie. Have you? Yeah. Lucky no one's around then. Back to three over. <laughs> well done. I was five you over. You vlogging, are you? You just playing? Just playing, mate. Just uh, getting some practice in, you know. Trying to play every day at the moment. 18 hours playing a day. Playing shite. You know. <laughs> just lost another ball. Three down. But I'm just going to place one in the fairway, 150 yards away. So got 155 downhill. Pitching wedge. Fuck. Go on then, yeah. Yo, you bastard. Yep, that was worth the run and zoom. Front of the green, 30 foot. I mean, you could actually ask for a nicer day. It's like 12 degrees. Sun's on the way down. You think of worse places to be. Oh, we've got 107 up the hill. Triple tiered green. I'm looking to hit this about 115. Got a little 48. Let's come back down off that backstop. A bit long. That's not going to be an easy putt. This is it, the triple tiered tenth. Ball is back left, so I've got to come across here, feed it down. Feed it down. Very walking in the morning. Sit, sit, sit. Hit the hole. Hit it. Hit it. Oh. Okay. Amazing how much feel that I've I've kept 
you know, after you, uh, usually after a month you've been in the gym and stuff. Um, I mean, part of shipping, you lose a bit of feel, but. Last hole of the day, 326 yard par four. And across the ridge. And I'm just gonna bang it too. Well, we're just going to try and finish on a birdie. I've got about 50 yards. That is famous last word, isn't it? Got 50 yard bunker shot. Oh, go on then. It's all right. This is it then. Finish your birdie. Through it, through it. Really enjoyed that, actually getting on the course again. East Devon is like brilliant. Um, just let me know if you enjoyed this vlog because I want to be playing a lot more golf this year. I'm gonna go and have a short game lesson. As much as I joke about it, I am gonna play a bit more as well as long drive, obviously. So if you like this stuff, there's plenty more coming. Let's give it a like and a comment and all that stuff here. Yeah.